my neighbors think I'm crazy. So the wife ran to the store with the baby to buy things for a family that we adopted. You know, we're just gonna buy them the stuff they wanted for Christmas. You ever do that? You should. Anyway, I'm gonna take the FZ again. I know, I'm sorry, we're gonna write the WR. It's not like I'm gonna abandon my WR. It's gonna, it's, it's in dual sport mode. I promise I'll be in super mode again, but at some point, but right now, it was such, I had fun my last time I went out and wrote it in the video I made the other day, but it was such a fail because it was so cold and I just wimped out. And now the weather's super nice. But first, a word from our sponsor, Moto Amino. What is Moto Amino, Jake? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Moto Amino is like a, like a social media, but for motorcycles. So unlike your normal social medias, you don't have to hear people complain about politics, talk about football teams you don't know about or care about or just reposting BuzzFeed videos. It's just about motorcycle stuff. Here's Moto Nasi doing a 100 mile an hour challenge with a CR 450R. That's a stupid idea, bro. That's a motocross bike, stop doing that. You can follow me and I'll let you know when I put mods on this bike. Look at those headers, good God. You have public chats, there's one for moto vloggers. Say hi to YouTube. Definitely go check it out, follow me on there. Download it for your iOS or Android and Apple phones. God, is it iOS and OS, right? Whatever they're called. Just download it, follow me, and be like, what's up? Do you see what I did there? I found a fan. I found, it's not spinning. I wanted it to spin. Don't need no quick shifter. I ain't using the clutch. I, what is this? It, I'm not using the clutch. Oh my god. Seriously, guys? I will take a dick, but I will not use the clutch. Come on, car. Turn left. There's a left turn coming, and you're going to take it. Yes! There's the brake. Yeah! Boo! Ooh, this road's rough. I forgot. <laughs> I've got a handful of roads. I had to stop going down when I had, like, big groups of everybody. Just because I'd forget how rough they are, and they're, like, twisty little switchbacky roads. I'm like, oh, this road's good. And I take a pack of bikes out there and like the sport bike guys are a mile behind. I mean, they're always a mile behind when you have a super motor. <laughs> but um, <laughs> they're really behind and they were saying, Jake, that road is fucked. You know, I didn't realize it. It's along this stretch somewhere around here where that one guy broke his collarbone. That guy is a fucking trooper. Broke his fucking collarbone. And then he rode my bike all the way. Like we weren't, it wasn't close. Like we had to ride for like, I don't know. 15 fucking miles or so. We're not gonna walk terrific our, our collarbone brakes, bro. We do it hard out here in the DFW, man. Out of the way, birds. I don't have a lot of exhaust to scare them. I just think I'm fucking Big Bird coming at him with fucking treats or some shit. Here comes Big Bird, he's moving fast. Out into the country. Wow, look at that. Well, Dan, don't bring your Corvette over here. That's fucking cock. Fuck you, son. All right, then, yeah. Bow, now what? Oh, uh, fuck you, Wynn. This is wide open. Look how far I gotta go. I think I saw on the interweb so you can put an R6 throttle tube on this thing. That is a mod that works for all kinds of random bikes, by the way. You can do that on like Suzuki's. Like my dear Z400 had an R6 throttle tube. And the deal with that is, is that it makes it a uh, short. Amarillo sky. Oh, I have another gear. <laughs> Fuck off, moon. You know how fast you're going, sir? No, officer, there was a Christmas light covering my speedometer. I had no idea. I can't be blamed for Christmas, officer. I mean, seriously, you want to tell the kids there's no Christmas now? I'm in Sherman somewhere, looking for gas. Fuck, was that like the end of town right there? <laughs> Shit. I used to have to go to this cocksucker a lot. I used to have to do dealer trades when I worked for ATM Polaris dealer. There's some fuckhead, and I think we passed it just back there. It's like a Harley dealer that used to carry uh, Victory motorcycles. Decided they didn't want to carry Victory motorcycles anymore. But I went up there to pick up this, uh, it's a Vegas 8-ball. They have like a, a ramp, you know, where you can adjust the little doohickeys. And I got a, a, like a fucking small, I was in a small pickup truck that day for some reason. Like the bike's barely going to fit in as is. I'm going to have to go at a sideways angle. What am I doing? <laughs> what is this road? What is this random as fuck ass road? I mean, it's essentially like I'm buying it from that dealership. I mean, I'm not. The other dealership is. I mean, they're making money. It may not be as much as they would have made if they sold it normally on a dealer trade, but they're still getting something, right? Like, I go out back and I back up my truck to the ramp. A couple, like, service guys came out and were giving me a hand. They're like, oh, yeah, doing a dealer trade. Yeah, what's up, dude? What's it like where you're at? I'm like, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like dogs when they sniff each other's butt. Store manager comes out, like the owner or whatever, and he's all like, get off my ramp. Like he, he, he says, get off my ramp, victory, or some shit like that, because I was like a victory dealer. I was like, okay, like, you're not serious, right? And he's 100% he's fucking serious. This road's creeping the shit out of me. Why would I not be allowed to use the ramp? Because it's for fucking Harley customers only. I swear to God, dude, like, the, the, the bro is like the most douchebaggiest fucking 
I'm a Harley manager at a fucking Harley place you could imagine. The staff was like shocked, right? Like the service guys, and I think there was like somebody else out there. They were like, like they were, I remember they were like, seriously, dude? I have to pull this bike up on the on the truck now using the small little ramp. That I, at least I brought it with me. I almost did it because I knew they had a ramp up there. I'd been there before. With no choice though, I put my ramp on the truck. I go to pull the bike up, and this thing's big, long. It's heavy. It's not the ideal bike to try to pull onto a ramp. And it sits so long and low that when I got to the top of the ramp, the bike actually, well, like in the middle of the ramp as I'm going up, front wheel goes over, then I high center the frame on the bed of the truck, like where it's like on the ramp at the fucking tailgate, right? It fucking high centers, the front wheel's like up in the air, like it's dragging up on the frame. You always hook those ramps, you're supposed to at least. You hook the ramp on so it doesn't like pop off when you do this stuff. It like kicked the ramp off. I had it hooked, but it was like, it just said, fuck you hook and like broke it. You know, I'm sitting there like, tire, like I think the tire was kind of half spinning, pushing up the ramp and the ramp just boom, it falls off. And the bike just bam, it falls. The back tire's hanging off the swing arm frame or whatever is like resting the bike. That's what the bike's resting on, right? And I'm pushing with my little feet. I'm pushing as hard as I can, spinning the fuck out of the tire. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And I can feel it starting to slip out the back of the truck. And I'm like, flipping the fuck out, this is terrible. And then the tire catches the tip of the tailgate and just hurls the bike fucking into the truck. I didn't drop it though, and I, yeah, I probably did scratch the underside of the frame a little bit. So yeah, don't go to the Harley dealer out here in Sherman. Uh, they're a bunch of cock-sucking assholes. Bunch of cockheads. Mm -hmm. Checking in. Some loud sport bike around here. Just sneak up on him like What's going on? What's up? Oh, he's getting ready. He's 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 ready for it. How you like me now? How you like me now? <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's just like, he's only right up there, but he's riding all like an asshole, like going between these cars. He's like, I gotta show off, man. Oh, I think he exit now. He's like, I gotta show off. These are my skills. I can swerve between cars. Like, it's not that hard to do. Well, that was, that was just terrific. There's the bike. Look at it. Doesn't it look good? Looks good, doesn't it? All lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. There's some car with louder exhaust than me right now. I can hear it. Fucking Prius has louder exhaust than me. And uh, we got Christmas lights and everything is good and happy. And I appreciate you coming with me on a video. Oh yeah, be sure to hit the fuck out of that like button, guys. Super like my video. Give it a million likes, please. Because that's how YouTube works now. <laughs> I'll see y'all later.